Hi, my name is Stella Erbs, and I am the Divisional Dean of Humanities and Teacher Education. I'm also an Associate Professor of Teacher Education. So the class typically is using a textbook, a, a traditional classroom, but I found that using Sakai, I can curate digital sources, which is so perfect for this millennium, right? Um, we have digital tools, we have um, podcasts, we have videos, we have so many different ways we can um, use free sources and now, through Sakai's lesson tool, I can actually curate those sources and put them in modules using the lesson tool. So what I've done in my educational psychology class is I've used the lessons tool to create modules or chapters. And so chapter one might have three podcasts that the students have to listen to. And I just use those podcasts within the lessons tool. And then I also add a discussion post at the end. So now it's all encapsulated in one module, so chapter one instead of reading a traditional textbook are three podcasts and a, and a forum. Within Sakai, I can leverage technology to all be in one hub so at one click my students can open the gateway to learning through the lessons tool. I just have to say that I am a big Sakai fan. I've been an early adopter of Sakai. I really believe that learning management systems can improve our workflow and the classroom experience for students. I would just highly recommend to faculty who don't use Sakai to give it a try. 